But anyway, I digress. Hit the update. Gives you a little message here. Click OK. And off it goes uploading the file. Hi there. Welcome back. If you're in Canada and you own the EAP 606 HD version 1, you're in luck. TP-Link finally has released a firmware for this box. It feels like it's been years. 80 minutes later. But they finally released a firmware. So let's get to it. I'm going to download this firmware. We can look at the release notes, but I'm not really interested. Actually, I already did look at the release notes. But anyway, I digress. So here's our firmware. We want to browse into our download folder or the file. And we want to extract it. Here is the, another folder and here's the actual bin file. This is why we're going to be uploading to our TP link access point. And yes, I'm not doing this to the controller. I'm doing this. I'm doing this to the single access point. Next thing next, we want to go to the web interface of our TP link. In my case, that's the IP address for my TP link. I hope you know your IP address for your TP link access point. Anyway, now log in. As you can see, I have a fairly old build. Very old, 2021. And we want to go to system and backup and restore. And we want to backup our config file for this TP link, just in case I have to reconfigure everything from scratch. And now we're ready for firmware update. We're going to go to firmware update, browse, downloads, the folder I extracted earlier and select the bin file, click update. By the way, you have to be wired in. This system is wired in to the same switch where the access points wired in. You shouldn't be updating the firmware on your TP link over the Wi-Fi because the moment this TP link will start updating, the Wi-Fi gets disabled. But anyway, I digress. Hit the update, gives you a little message here, click OK. And off it goes uploading the file. Okay, I'm back. I actually went AFK, so I don't know what I missed. So let's log back in. Seeing web interface, that's a good sign. That means the update went well. It didn't get bricked. The access point didn't get bricked. And I can see I have the new build, the new version, the new build. And my password got accepted. That's really good. We can see uptime here. And if I go to my wireless, yep, I see all my wireless networks, all my wireless SSIDs are still here. So everything is good. So the update went fine. And yeah, that's basically how you update a standalone one TP-Link access point without the controller. Pretty easy. Just make sure you back up your config and make sure your system is wired to the same network, even a different subnet as the TP-Link. And yeah, that's basically it. Make sure you also have a UPS. You don't want to lose power when you're updating your TP link and then the, get the TP link storage corrupted or the, I'm sorry, access point storage getting corrupted. But anyway, I digress. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Don't forget to subscribe and I'm out of here.